Welcome back to the 30 day jujitsu mobility challenge day 30. Congratulations if you did follow along and do every single one of these sessions, even if it wasn't in exactly 30 days, should be proud. It's an awesome accomplishment. So thank you so much for coming along with me in this uh, 30 day mobility challenge series. And um, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's finish it off. Let's do the last day. Now today I have an awesome couplet We've done these two so many times throughout the series, but it's just very fitting that they're gonna be on the last day. So that's for no other reason. Uh, I wanted these two exercises on the last day because if you don't take anything out of this series but these two exercises, then I'll be happy uh, because they're excellent for jujitsu, particularly for guard retention. So the first one is the long lunge. So start with your left leg forward, hand on the uh, foot here and you can have your other hand up on your fist or your hand, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to move and groove into our long lunge. Not much really needs to be said about this. I've, I've done it a few times with you guys before, but for whatever reason, if for some reason you reverse the order and you did episode 30 last, it's kind of weird, but uh, I'll talk you through some cues anyway. Really wanna just move and groove into this long lunge position. We're really just trying to open up our hip, open up our hip flexor, open up our groin a little bit. This uh, position is such a, just a, an all round excellent hip opener and hip mobility. This is really, it can be done every day. It could be a daily driver, particularly for jujitsu players. Now, if you want, particularly because we have done this a few times, you will know that you can come down onto your elbows here really move and groove into this position. Twist into it, push your knee out. You can look over your shoulder. You can even come up and look over your other shoulder. There's lots of different rays and vectors and, and ways to monkey around with this position. You can also walk your foot in toward the center line to make it a little bit more challenging. We haven't done that variation for a little while. I believe we did it early on. Uh, but we haven't done that particular variation for a bit. So feel free to play with that. Try and keep your foot firmly on the mat though. So I'm gonna walk my foot out a little bit more, just to be a little bit more true to the position. But I really like this long lunge position where we're, we're down on our elbows here. I really like this variation. It, it, for me, this is the biggest, um, biggest driver, I suppose, for my actual mobility gains as it pertains to the jujitsu context is this long lunge position. All right, so we're gonna come up and thumb on the crease and just look over, try and see if you can look at your uh, foot that is behind you and continue to breathe in this position. Make sure you're breathing deep into your nose and out through your mouth or your nose. Okay, let's swap over. You might be able to guess what's coming up next, particularly if you have been following along for the series and paying attention to uh, my favorite exercises for Jiu Jitsu. I should give it away. You'll know exactly what's up next, but you'll see shortly. But you will need a wall. That is the, the key giveaway. You will definitely need to uh, come up against a wall or a couch, hint, hint. Okay, so I'm gonna drop down onto my elbows now and really groove into this position. I actually feel a bit tight uh, in, in this particular vector here. So I'm really trying to twist and engage into uh, in deep into my, my hip here. I do feel like it's a little bit bound up, may have something to do with my uh, ankle being pretty tight at the moment on my right side, but that's okay. So just as a reminder, I keep breathing deep in through your nose, out through your mouth, as I'm trying to distract you by dribbling along, just talking random nonsense half the time. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, I can say what I want now, you've already done the 30 days, right? <laughs> no, but in all, in all seriousness, I hope you enjoyed this uh, mobility journey that we've been on together. It's been great. All right. Keep moving and grooving in that position. You can even walk your hands away and reach out. We didn't do this on the other side, but you can, you can experiment. I just wanna give you different options so that you can take this one with you and use it whenever. And I use this as a warm up pre jujitsu class all the time. You can even use it as a cool down if you really wanted, but it's definitely uh, suitable for a hip prep for the gym, for a leg day or for jujitsu class. 
All right, so uh, thumb on the hip crease here, and we're gonna look over and see if we can spot our foot that's behind us. Breathe deep into a hip flexor. All right, and release, all right. So I definitely gave it away, or I hope I did. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is the couch stretch. There's a very specific reason that this is the last mobility drill of the 30 days because it's the one I want you to do the most consistently. It's going to really be a catalyst that will improve your hip flexors. So come up against the wall. Ideally, I want you up on your instep with your knee as close to the wall as you can comfortably get it. But uh, today I'm gonna be on my toe and I'm gonna step all the way up straight into level two. Now you can hang out into level one, but hopefully by this stage, everyone is up in a level two. If not, don't beat yourself up, it's totally fine. Just means you need a little bit more time in the couch stretch position. Keys for the couch stretch is to not banana back and to keep your glutes engaged. It's very, very important that you keep your glute engaged. So in order to check my glute, I like to just give it a little tap. My glute wasn't even on then, got distracted and uh, give it a little tap and make sure that your glute is engaged and flexed. I'm gonna step right up into the level three. Now you can, you can uh, do some little pulses forward. I like to do this before jujitsu class. If I'm doing the couch stretch before jujitsu, I like to do this level three, but pulse variation. So like a modified level three, if you will. Or if you'd like to, if you wanna progress the couch stretch beyond the 30 days, I've spoken about this a couple of times, but you can stretch yourself by reaching up behind you to touch the wall, or you can elevate your front foot. Do that by getting a plate. If you're doing it this, this at the gym as a warm up, it's a great warm up for the gym. You can get a plate and put your foot uh, on a stack of plates, and the higher you elevate your front foot, the more challenging it's going to become. Whenever I try to elevate my front foot at home, I actually use my foam roller. I just stand on my foam roller and have it laying out in front of me. Um, but that's how I progress this position. Give yourself a glute tap, make sure that your glute is engaged. You can work in some little pulses if you want. You can do a contract relax. We've been through that over the last 30 days. You can breathe in, squeeze and hold and push everything, engage your glute, drive into the position, drive your hip to the floor and release. Okay, let's do the right hand side now. Right foot up. And I'm gonna step straight up into level two and make sure my glute is on. Yep, my glute is definitely engaged here. So I'm just going to hang out in this position and uh, get used to it on my right hand side before I step up into level three. Ideally, you will be spending, if you really wanted to work this position, ideally you would spend about two to even five minutes per side in the couch. You can send a full 10 minutes in the couch stretch. And we have actually done that before. So come all the way up now into the level three couch and make sure you keep that glute on. Whenever I pro progress to the next level up, make sure I give myself a glute tap and keep my glutes engaged. I sound like a broken record, but it is very important. It is the most important cue for this uh, exercise is to keep your glutes engaged. Also make sure your, your rib cage is in and down, no banana backs here, and breathe deep into this position. If you're pressed for time, or you've just gotten off a plane, or maybe you've done a long car trip, or anything like that, and you're about to train, or, or just wanna make yourself feel better, the couch stretch is always one that you can come back to. It is a superb uh, mobility drill, and realistically, you should be, well, I won't say should, but you could do this every day and you will, you will get benefit from it. It's a lot of the time, we, we spend a lot of time crouched over, even in jujitsu where we're looking at like guard retention, playing guard, playing off our back, we're like crouched over and having tight hip flexors, believe it or not, can be beneficial uh, for that position, but it's not beneficial for your movement patterns for other positions in jujitsu. So it's a, a net negative, if you will. So to have supple, uh, supple hip flexors will mean you can get in and out of those positions, those guard retention positions with more uh, ease, more fluency, and you're not going to be straining your hip flexors or, or potentially 
you know, being bound up and maybe causing injury or something. And I'm just working in some small pulses forward like I did on my left side. And that should do it. Ease yourself out. <sighs> Excellent. Well, I just want to take this opportunity at the end of day 30 to say thank you so much for uh, participating in this challenge. Whether you did all the 30 days, maybe even some of them, or just this one uh, video right at the end, then uh, yeah, thanks so much for, for participating, for coming along and, and leaving a comment on, on all the videos. All the, the support really does uh, mean a lot. And I'm glad that a lot of you got so much out of this challenge. And until the next one, thanks very much.